Being, uh, living in Nashville for the past 15 years has given me the opportunity to not only play with some of the greatest uh, instrumentalists and players on the planet, uh, but also write with some of the greatest songwriters, and, uh, and there are so many. Uh, I've never felt uh, comfortable in the, in the world of contemporary country. Uh, I've tried to do it a few times, and I've tried the, uh, the kind of the Nashville corporate songwriting deal where you show up at 9 or 10 in the morning, you work for a couple hours, you have lunch, you write for a few hours, and then you go home. It, it never seems to work for me. I've tried it. Um, never had much success with it. But there was one particular country songwriter who's probably one of the most successful of all time. Uh, his name's, name is Craig Wiseman. He has more country history than anybody I can think of. Uh, and uh, you can look him up because he's incredible. And uh, I met him. He seemed like a really interesting character. And I, you know, and I, I loved his songwriting. And I just uh, said, man, I'd love to, you know, try to write with you. And we made arrangements to get together. And uh, at the time, um, and I've never, been a, I've never been a big drinker, but I actually had too much to drink the night before um, I was getting together with him. And I went into the session a little hungover which wasn't a good thing because he's a ball of fire, which I didn't know until I got there. And I walked in there, and I was, my brain was kind of cloudy, and I was kind of, you know, I wasn't feeling much. Uh, and I was sitting there plunking around, and nothing was really coming. I had this idea about uh, something about Louisiana. It was about, a, you know, if you, if you lost it in Louisiana or Louisa from Louisiana. I didn't know what it was, but I, I just was desperate to throw some idea into the, into the hat and see, see if I could get uh, something jump-started. And I guess something appealed to him there. And uh, he, he said to me, he said, because we didn't know each other. We had never really met. He said, what's your deal, man? What's going on? I said, look, man, I'm, I, I apologize. I said, I got nothing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm cloudy. I'm, like, not feeling it. He goes, perfect. That's exactly what we're going to write about. And I went, okay. And he handed me a five-string guitar that he had hanging on the wall. He said, and it was tuned to a G. G it was a G tuning. He said, just play this. Something will happen. And sure enough, I started plunking around in a G tuning. And if you guys have ever, you know, experimented with tunings, you, if you haven't, you should, uh, because it's very inspirational. You'll come up with chords, inversions, and, and tonalities that you might not come up with in your standard tuning. So play around with tunings. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, so I'm sitting there with a G tuning with a five-string guitar with no low E string, uh, which kind of limited me to doing certain things, and um, came up with a kind of a riff. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, he, and we, he started writing, and this guy started writing so fast, and he was like saying, yeah. He goes, let's just paint this picture. We're down in New Orleans. We're so drunk. We're drunk on Bourbon Street. We can't find our hotel. Run into a girl. And I'm like, whoa, okay, man, slow down. I was like, desperate to keep up with this guy. But one thing I learned, if, if, you're not, if you're not in charge of the wagon train, just make sure you're on the wagon. And uh, that's what I was doing. I was just hanging on for dear life creatively. And he was rolling. He was on a roll, and I wasn't about to stop him. And he kept saying, you know, and I'd throw out an idea, and he'd go, stop, stop on writing. Start writing. I mean, he was, he's a pretty aggressive dude. And he has everything to back it up with because he's incredibly successful. And I loved it. I mean, it, it really put me in my place. And I was like man, I'm just going to let this guy do his thing and I'm going to hang on and we'll see what happens. And the song, uh, the song's called Lose It in Louisiana. And that's exactly what we ended up doing is painting this picture of just creating this, this, this imagery and this, uh, of being in, in New Orleans in the middle of the night. Something happens and we'll tell that tale. So that's Lose It in Louisiana. I'm going to play it for you and then we'll break it down. All right, here we go. Oh, and by the way, I played it originally on a, uh, on a G-tuned guitar, but I'm going to play it in standard tuning. Um, I've adapted it to standard tuning, so...